Hey guys, this is Shante with Brown Sugar Dots, and I'm coming to you to talk about pussy today. So, why does your pussy stink? That's the whole thing. Like, we, I, it is like one of the one thing that I'm just like, God damn it, not today, not today, not today. So, anyway, um, it is. Brown Sugar Talks under Black Unicorns. Here is a message from my sponsor. Okay, I'm back. So, I... I have to say that I have been into bathrooms where I... This is, this is my life story of smelly coochies. So, I have been into a bathroom, and I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, the odor is there. You know, it's vagina. It's okay. Like, it's, it doesn't stink. It's just strong. Then you have been in situations where uh, maybe hospital rooms, your own vaginal odor or whatever. Um, so there is two things. Two, um, there's actually three things that, three things that can cause... Um, vaginal odor actually it's more than it okay but anyway the first let's talk about is trichomosis 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 is an std it's um and it could cause vaginal odor but not all the time is trichomosis the situation because trichomosis is something that you can get from a guy that could pass that to you um the other thing is like if you the other one is bacterial vaginosis now Bacterial vaginosis, you might not even be having sex. Like, sex is probably not even on your menu. And you get bacterial vaginosis because there could be an overgrowth of hormones. It could be, like, different things going on. And it it causes you to have a fishy odor. And it usually has a discharge that, that is odorific, too. Um, another one, is could, it could be a yeast infection. Uh, not all the time does a yeast infection have a smell, but, you know, the feeling is not always great. Like, if you, oh, my God, yeast infections, okay, whatever. Like, you just like, God damn it, it's itchy, it's all, whatever. So, those are different things of, um different ways that our vaginal odor changes. You will notice your vaginal odor change. Like, I noticed, like, when I ate meat, one time it's like oh my god i smell like it smell like meat like it actually smell like meat like oh my god i was like oh i cannot eat meat but anyway i still ate a sandwich so it just depends on what you do and how you take care of your vagina all you have to do is wash it with soap and water um i've heard many people say that they gave their kids like um sprays and stuff and douches and all that stuff you don't need any of that you do not need a douche don't have somebody say you oh you got a douche no, sometimes you need to make an appointment to the doctor to get rid of the BV, the bacterial vaginosis, or the yeast infection, whatever it is that could be causing you to, the uh, the problem. Most of the time, it's not trichomosis, especially if you have not been having sex. So, um, the like just being able to... Also, you have to like kind of watch what you eat because... Um, I just read that somewhere somebody was like, they ate onions, they ate a lot of onions, so then they start to smell like onions or garlic. And garlic is true. If you have to take garlic peels, people who take garlic peels know this. The smell starts to seep through your skin. Oh, my God. If it's like, you would smell like garlic. You would actually just smell like a a huge piece of just seasoned food. Men and women just start to smell like garlic. But, um, and I think that's why people say, hey, eat pineapples and fruit and different things like that if you want a better tasting vagina. Um, or even better smelling, like, you know, vegetarians, like, just like vegetarian poop. It's like, it does not have an awful odor, you know? Um, as bad as, like, if you ate protein, like, then your poop is like, it's actually stronger, you know. It's like actually like uh, eggs, meat, and cauliflower cause the the strongest poots, or the the funkiest poots. So you know, I'm pretty sure the same thing goes because it's like that's what you put in your body. So as a human, that's what you put out. What else would come out? What else would come out? So that's it. I mean, it's just like I was curious about why vagina has such an awful odor because I'm just like I don't want to go in the bathroom after people who have 
that strong vaginal odor like it is like and even with my own body if the vaginal odor changes and stuff like i'm curious as to why like oh my god like this i did not smell like this yesterday not to say it smells bad it's just like like i said i started eating meat one day because i hadn't ate meat for like what almost a year and i ate meat and then actually i ate um it wasn't that i ate meat it was that i ate sandwich meat and I like I was like oh my god I smell like meat you know like so it like sandwich meat what kind of shit is that I don't know so I feel like yeah you know just kind of I think that it's true like you are what you eat you are what you put into your body so I don't know I just want to talk about that today for whatever reason wellness Wednesday they call it the yanni make sure you take care of it you know um I had a friend that was talking about yanni steam I saw it online and um Yanni steam it's like you sit on top of a tub and you have herbs in a bucket or something like that and I guess you sit and make yourself a a Yanni steam situation not to say I don't know like I feel like a steam room is just better for you just a steam room I don't think you need all the do you need all the herbs like you need the herbs to come up to the vagina or do you just need the steam room I think the steam room is awesome um, I don't know. I just feel like you get the most clean feeling vaginal system up in the steam room. But I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong. So, whoever's tried Yanni, if you ever tried a Yanni um steam, let me know how that worked out. Like, what happens? You know, like what is it? Cause pussy smell like pussy. That's all I'm saying. Is like pussy is pussy. Pussy smells like pussy. And everybody's pussy. You know, everybody's smell is different. You know, everybody's odor is different. Sometimes you go to the bathroom, you don't have an odor. Sometimes you go, you have an odor. Uh, close to your period, after your period, you may have more odor. It just depends on what kind of kind of month it is and how it happens. Um, I don't know. I think that's where I'm at with that one. Um. Am I, I wonder if I'm uncomfortable about it. I don't think so. I know that in life, it happens. You know, it happens. Pussy happens. So let it, you know, let it get over it, get through life. Yeah. It can be embarrassing at times being a woman. But like I said, it's like it's, those are the things that happen. And sometimes out of nowhere, you know, you might not even be having sex and you could, and you could get back bacterial vaginosis or yeast infections, depending on like what kind of clothes you had to wear, you know, what it was that you didn't stop. I just saw your girl online. She said she, Cardi B said she had a pussy wedgie. She had to let it go. I have had push, pussy wedgies too, you know, and sometimes you got to go release the pussy wedgie. Sometimes you just can't wear panties. Like you have to actually take the motherfuckers off, you know, because they so far up in your vagina. Um, that you just like, no, I can't, not today. Today is not the day for me to have a pussy wedgie. Today is just not that day. So, um, yeah, that's life. I guess that's life. But anyway, you guys, please have a great day. Um, and this is Brown Sugar Talks. Just talking about vagina. Just just soap and water, y'all. No douching. No douching. No sprays. Because that could cause more problems than not. You know, you want to keep your bacteria. Oh, one thing you know that I learned, probiotics. Probiotics is a good way to help you get through all those things. Probiotics, probiotics, you know, like those are actually good cultures and you take them. Like, and you can also get in yogurt too. So anyway, there are live, live cultures that live inside, live bacteria that live inside of um, different products. So if they work, hey, those work too. And you can also get them in pills. And if you have them, you can also make yogurt. Ha ha ha. So yeah, have a good day. Thank you so much for listening to Brown Sugar Talks. And this is Wellness Wednesday.